Hey guys, and I'm back with another video. So today's video, I just want to start off by saying justice for Breonna Taylor. So I'm so upset right now, guys. It's just been reported that um, the officers that was involved in Breonna Taylor murder is not even being charged. Yesterday, it was reported that um, one of the officers that was involved in the Breonna Taylor's murder has been indicted on a low-level crime and not even for Breonna Taylor's murder. It's only because he was firing off reckless shots at Breonna Taylor's neighbor's houses. So, he's not even being charged with the crime of killing Bre Breonna. The other two officers that actually killed Breonna is just scot-free, scot just out here, you know, living a life. Why they said right there and killed this innocent black woman that did not deserve to die, you know, at only 26 years old. She still had a more life. She still had more life to live. She was a beautiful woman. A 26-year-old beautiful EMT, ER technician. She worked for, I guess, the emergency room or however the case may be. And I just feel like, you know, that the city of Louisville, Kentucky is so wrong. They sat right there and um, made a settlement with Breonna Taylor's family for $12 million. Yeah, you know, that's that's a lot of money, but that's not enough money I'd rather have my family member back than have money. Money is the root of all evil, you know? I'd rather have my, my family member with me. You know, Breonna can't spend the money. Breonna Taylor can't spend the money. So, I mean, you know, yeah, that's a start by, like, you know, settling, you know, with them, you know, getting the compensation that they deserve, you know, but she she's not out here to spend her money. You know, so it's just like really sad. You know, it's really sad that they won't even charge the officers. They sat right there and came to her house, came to her house and shot and killed her. Her boyfriend fired off one shot, Kenneth Walker, her boyfriend, because he didn't know he thought they was intruders breaking, trying to break in and enter his home. So, you know, only right. The same thing. I would do the same thing if I heard a noise at my door and I didn't know who it was and I had a gun, you know. Of course, I'm going I'm to do anything to protect me and mine. I'm going to do anything to protect my family. He did not nothing wrong. You know, he didn't know who it was. First and foremost, the police officers is dead wrong. They came to the house, you know, trying to squash a warrant on a no-knock warrant. But at the end of the day, they came to the wrong house. So they did wrong anyway. It wasn't for Breonna Taylor. It wasn't for Kenneth Walker. It was for somebody else. So they did wrong because they at the wrong address anyway. They looking for the wrong person. So you, they went to the wrong house. So that they wasn't even that wasn't even the right person that they was looking for. So at the end of the day, for them to sit right there and shoot at her house, shoot twenty times, and I believe you know they said that they shot and killed Brianna. They shot her about five or six times. Her boyfriend only shot one time. They shot at her house about twenty times, and out of them twenty shots, five or six of them bullets hit Brianna. And killed her. And y'all sitting right there just, you know, roaming the streets, just living y'all motherfucking best life while this woman is deceased and will not ever see her family no more, will never breathe no more. And just to add insult to injury, you know, they're going to indict Brett Hankerson, the police officer that was firing off reckless shots at the neighbor. On a low-level crime at that, the crime only occurs up to five years. And I believe they indicted him yesterday, and he bailed out of jail already on like a, um, I believe they said, was it a $15,000 bond or something like that already? Probably don't even end up doing the five years anyway. Maybe only probably do about one or two years. And it's just not fair at all. It's not fair that, you know, Brianna don't get to breathe no more. She don't get to see her family. She don't get to see her boyfriend, her loved ones, or anything no more. She's not in, no longer in this world anymore. But these motherfucking racist cops that killed her is just out here just 
living their best life, just out here doing whatever they want to do, and they still, you know, breathing on this earth, not even getting charged or anything with the crime that they committed. They are murderers. They had no right to even be at this woman's house in the first place. So it's just fucked up on so many levels. It really is. And I'm just like, I'm just so upset right now.